Hi, Jimmy Beach here with Alien Skin Software. This video is a Photoshop tutorial. There are no plugins involved. Let's take a look at what we're doing. I have two images open in Photoshop CS5. Here is the before shot. This is a project that I did for the Exposure 4 About box. What we want to do is replace the existing labels on each of these bottles with our own custom labels. The after shot is where we'll end up. I'll press Ctrl and Tab to switch images. We want our results to be as realistic as possible. A few simple steps made with basic tools in Photoshop is all we need to do it. Let's get started. I'll go back to the before shot. First things first, whenever you make changes to an image in Photoshop, duplicate the background layer as step 1. I'll press Command or Control J. I need to remove the old titles before I can replace them with new ones. I'll choose one of the simpler labels to illustrate. Let's go with the IPA. I'll press Z for the zoom tool and zoom in to the area to work on. Let's make a selection. Press L for the lasso tool. I want the polygonal lasso, so I'll press Shift L to cycle through to it. Now, set the feathering up here to a few pixels. We want the selection to blend in unnoticeably, and a feathered edge will help. The polygonal lasso tool adds a new corner to the selection boundary each time you click. When you're in this tool, press the Delete key to undo one of your points. Once I'm done, I'll double click to close the selection. We want to apply a gradient to the area that we have selected. The easiest way to do this is with Gradient Overlay. Press Command or Control J and duplicate the selection to a new layer. I'll rename it IPA Mask. Gradient Overlay applies to the entire layer. Let me show you what this means. If we duplicate the entire layer and apply a gradient overlay, it looks like this. Now let's duplicate that again and mask off an area. It looks the same. This is because the gradient applies from one edge of the layer to the other. It has nothing to do with the mask. Now let's apply the same gradient overlay to the IPA mask layer. I'll right click on the layer and choose Copy Layer Style. Now choose the IPA mask layer. Right click and choose Paste Layer Style. And if we use a selection, the gradient overlay fits to the edges of the layer. But we shrunk the layer by making the selection. And this is what we want. I'll shut off those other layers. I need to see the colors from the original for this next step. I'll turn the IPA mask layer's opacity down to 0%. Photoshop added hot text a few releases back. This means you can click and drag on the word opacity, for example, to change the value. It's a little faster than the drop-down slider or by typing a number. Now double-click on the layer in the Layers panel and it will open up the Layer Style dialog. Choose Gradient Overlay. We have a video that talks about using the Gradient tool, so I'll skip the long-winded description. Use a moderate number of points for the gradient to follow. This makes sure that our gradient is as close to the original colors as we can get. You can always remove or adjust the gradient later. Once I'm done, I'll say OK to apply it. And let's turn the layer opacity back up and make the original layer disappear. Voila! Now we need to add our own new label. First, let's add a guide or two. This will help us with the alignment of the text. Press Ctrl or Command R to show rulers. Next, click and drag a guide down from the ruler on the top. I'll put one guide at the top and one at the bottom of the label. Now it's easy to see what we'll need to do with the text to make it curve to the bottle. I'll drag over the text layer from the finished image to save some time. I chose a font similar to the original label and adjusted the text behavior with some quick tweaks to the character panel. The letters need to look jumbled. We need to put the text on a curve. I'll press T for text, highlight everything, Command or Control A, and I'll push this button here, the capital T with a frown underneath. It's named Create Warped Text. From the drop-down, let's choose Arch. We want the bend direction horizontal. We'll move the slider to match the curve with the label. This is why I made the guides earlier. It's more clear. Now we need to add a gradient to the text. We'll do that just like before. First, shut off the mask layer to reveal the colors of the original label. Turn the opacity of the text layer down to 0%. 
Double click on the layer and choose Gradient Overlay. Now, set up the gradient to match the IPA label. Press OK. Turn the opacity back up and turn on the mask layer. We need a little bit more flare to make this blend in. To do this, I'll make a layer mask on our text layer. There's a button right here on the bottom of the layers panel. I'll push B for the brush tool. With black as my color, I'll paint with a splatter brush around the edges of the text. This will make it look like the original. I can always go back in with white and clean up some of the extra holes later. We're really close. One last touch. Look at the edges of the new text. Our font is much sharper than the original photo. We need to introduce a little blurring. We can't run a blur on this layer and the mask simultaneously. We'll need to convert it to a smart object first. Right click on the layer, choose Convert to Smart Object. And now we can go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. All we need here is just enough to blend in with what's there. Because it's a smart object, we can come back and tweak the amount of blur later. I'll zoom back out and hide the guides with Control or Command H. The IPA bottle is done. We'll need to duplicate the process to the remaining bottles with the same steps as before. The bottles with complex backgrounds, like Sam Adams or Sweet Tea, these labels will need to be removed with a clone stamp. And that was all for the text replacement video. This is Jimmy Beach. I'll see you next time.